All right, so I have filled out the table, and so now I want to graph it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all my data. Uh, it's important to note that you should also highlight your the headers to the columns. Then I'm going to copy that. So uh, you can go to File, Copy, or you can press Control-C for Copy. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up, uh, go to sheets.google.com. And that will open up the sheets. Um, I'll open up a blank sheet. I'm going to select there. And then I just press Control V for pasting. And so you'll see that I now have um, that the, the chart uh, here in the sheets. Then I highlight only the chart. So I'm highlighting the cells that only have the chart. Then you go to Insert. And I'm going to go to Chart. We want this to be a line graph, so everything over here under data is good. Uh, if you look at our, if you look at our graph, the only thing that seems to be missing is we notice we have our x-axis labeled. So here we have our x-axis labeled, but we don't have our y-axis labeled. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click to customize. So I'm over here on the right hand side, customize, and we go to chart and axis titles. So I click on where it says chart and axis titles. There's a drop down menu under type. I'm going to click the vertical axis title. And so if we look at the vertical axis title here, uh, it's that, that's the number of disks that are floating, right? Once I put that in, it all, you'll see that it shows up there. Um, and so that's good to go. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the graph. Uh, you'll, you know it's selected because it has that blue outline around it. Then I'm going to press um, Control Copy, so Control Copy, and then I go back to my photosynthesis lab, select uh, that where it says graph. So as you can see here it says graph. I'm going to insert that double graph. I can link it to the spreadsheet. Just press Paste, and then there it is. Okay.